My name is Miguel Vasquez. I'm a Marine Corps combat veteran, and I've been with a volunteer with the mission continue since 2014. really motivated me to involve myself in a way where I could give veterans not only the same opportunity, but to contribute to an organization that has consistently been doing this for 15 years. Many of us, when we would actually leave service, were kind of trying to look for that purpose. We were also looking for a way to maybe redefine how we served our country. You can do a lot professionally, but what can you really do for the good of the public? And the Mission Continues was that type of organization that gave us that outlet. Many veterans like myself found a home with this organization because of the continuous impact that was not only being made in the communities that we served, but more importantly within the veteran community by giving us that sense of purpose that some of us had felt we had lost. You know, as an organization, there's three key areas that we have really been able to make ourselves impactful. The first is being able to, again, help veterans beat that isolation and help veterans find that identity through purpose and help them execute service and support projects on a monthly basis really gives veterans a lot to look forward to, but it's also one of those catalysts that we need to ensure that we can actually get the entire veteran population an opportunity to be engaged. The second area is being able to build that sense of community outside of what many veterans would deem their own community. Many of us, when we get home, we sometimes stick close to home or we stick close to the things that make us comfortable. But in essence, if we're not engaged with the greater community or the needs of the greater community, we're not really engaged the way that we should be that will benefit all of us in the long run. The last area is being able to be a uniter. At the end of the day, one thing that this country has been able to kind of identify is that there's a lot of different sides right now but we have to find something that unites us. When we look at those at-risk factors and we start to see self-worth start to diminish, camaraderie is definitely the backbone of being able to ensure that self-worth can not only go up, but that there's a mutual understanding by peers to help you on your way up. It's one thing to get a good piece of advice or even get a good lead on something that might help change your quality of life. But it means more when you have a community that you've built because you've sweat, you've worked, you've served together. It's going to be up to us to take care of one another, just the same way it was our responsibility to look to our left and right overseas and know that our training and that our respect for one another, but the confidence that we have in each other was gonna hopefully bring us home alive. The hardest war is the war after the wars, and we've come to realize as a community, nobody will do better in being able to overcome those daily battles than veterans helping veterans. And in essence, the Mission Continues has done a great job of being able to build that community for veterans to know that they've got somebody on their left and their right. Some of the success factors that we've been able to pinpoint as an organization would really focus on our veterans continuing to do the good work that we set out to do 15 years ago. More importantly, when you look at the 40 plus operations that we have across the nation to include the island of Puerto Rico, we have consistently been able to not only conduct service and support projects on a monthly basis, but attract veterans from every era to be able to be part of the good work and service we provide the under-resourced parts of our communities. By being able to bridge the gaps across many generations of veterans, on top of being able to accomplish a mission together, the nostalgia is one thing, but the impact is another. I think one thing that we could do as a nation or just our general public when it comes to really being there for veterans is truly taking it past thank you for your service. A little conversation goes a long way. By being able to engage an individual, whether they're a veteran or not, I think that's something that's almost been lost in this country. But one thing that we can really look at when it comes to our veterans is being able to get to know that veteran. Our organization is doing a great job of being able to connect veterans with the under-resourced parts of their communities, but more specifically, be able to have veteran leaders conduct projects where everybody is invited. And when we can all serve together, we're gonna to realize how much common ground all of us have, but more specifically, we're all going to realize how good it feels to do good in our community. With that being said, take a look at some of the work that we've done 
all over the country to make that greater community impact in those under-resourced parts of communities. But more specifically, take a look and see what it means to serve your country with veterans and non-veterans alike. For everyone looking for an opportunity to serve, I invite you to go to missioncontinues.org. There you'll find a map that will give you an interactive way to find a project in your community. I also would say, check us out on social media. We're on every platform. And take a look at all of the different things that our veteran leaders are doing in their communities with their service platoons. Our service platoons are made up of veterans and non-veterans alike, but everybody's there ensuring that they can make a greater impact in their community.